When is the Infinity G35 gonna come back to Need for Speed, man? Like, as a playable car. Because I see it in the traffic all the damn time in like every Need for Speed game ever and we can never use it. Like this, come on, man. I wanna use the G35. This is my favorite Infinity. I remember using this in Need for Speed Pro Street. Why isn't it in the game? It should, look, look, it's all fully modeled and everything, bruh. This, things like this make me wish I was on PC so I could use this. Like, oh my god, I love this car. I remember it from Pro Street. It just needs to be added in. Whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordy, and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today is a big day, folks. We have reached the end of our car list. As in, like, the end of all the new cars from... Payback and this game that I wanted to do in this game since I didn't play Payback So we had a big slightly bigger list, but here we are with the final one and as you can probably tell from the intro We're gonna be doing the infinity uh, So we won't be able to do this in Payback. So uh, it's kind of exclusive to heat right now uh, if you didn't get the Speed cross DLC for Payback and trust me even though we are gonna pay, uh, play Payback in the summer There is no damn way I'm getting the Speed Cross DLC, okay? There's just no way. I don't like Speed Cross. But look at this. Infinity Q60S. Uh, Q? Is it Q? Yeah, Q. Um, but honestly, <laughs> I want the G35, man. I love I love this Infinity, uh, but I prefer the G35 simply because of the nostalgia behind it. It was in Pro Street. It was so cool. But anyway, here we go. Hopefully, now, last episode we did the Porsche Panamera and it did not disappoint. It had its own unique sound and everything. It really didn't disappoint. And then I put an engine swap on it afterwards and oh my god, it was so much better as well. It's, uh, that car is amazing. If you haven't made it, just go make, make it. Now here we are with the Infiniti Q60S. Let's test it out. Let's listen to the sound of that engine. Yes! It's, a, it's got a unique engine. Let's go. Wow, you know what? We're going to drive another way today. Whatever. <laughs> so, it's, it's a bit, it sounds a bit subdued. Don't worry. We're going to make that aggressive as hell. But here we are with the Infinity Q60S at stock. A 175 MPH um, top speed is pretty reasonable. I can't lie. Wow. It sounds really nice. It really does sound like. I think this is going to sound absolutely amazing when we um, max it out. But here we are. So this was the um, the car that you unlocked through the Speed Cross DLC, like I said. That and the, the that Mini Cooper Countryman. Who the hell wants that in their game? Let's be honest. Why is that in a Need for Speed game? I used it and then sold it. Uh, actually, I think I might still have it. Uh, but only for like future reference. I don't know if I'll ever use that car, to be honest. Anyway, here we are. Going into the dealership now. A uh, dealership? Into the garage, sorry. Uh, and I think, uh, from what I've seen in Payback, this actually has some decent customization. So let's check this out. Alright. Front bumper. Oh, we can, get, we can do the grill. We got like a carbon grill. Not too bad. Front bumper. We got two different ones. Uh, so just like the Panamera, pretty much. Wow, okay, so we got like, that's that looks like an Evo 10, I can't lie, which means I'm not going with it. Uh, and we got this one, which I think is the one that was used in the Speed Cross DLC. That's pretty nice. Uh, splitter? Uh, apparently Infinity's got its own splitter, apparently, I don't know. Oh, I think I like to see a tiny little splitter right at the bottom, it's like the tiniest thing ever. Um, we got the Alchemist parts as well. Ooh, I, I mean... I could make this really aggressive, or I could go with a really clean build. Um, we got some nice little fenders here. Wow, okay. Our, uh, that is... Wow, that is something. Uh, wing mirrors. We got anything special? No, we just got the new ones, though. I like how they added new wing mirrors into this game, I can't lie. Uh, side skirts, nothing to, um, you know, shout about. Uh, we got the wide body. So we, we can turn this into a wide body, I guess. Wow, oh my god, okay. <laughs> that is certainly different, I won't lie. Uh, let's see what we got with the rear bumper. We got the Alchemist. We've got Speed Hunters. Wow, these are definitely different. I can make a really aggressive Q60 Infinity right here. And then we've got... Also, I'm guessing... 
Oh no, I was thinking that one might clip onto the alchemist one here, but I guess not. But that's definitely, like, if you want to make an aggressive build. I know, oh my, okay, who the hell's going to go with that? <laughs> Let's be fair. Um, the swan wing, does it suit it? Nah, not really. The swan wing doesn't really suit most cars. And we got the low downforce wing as well, if you wanted to make it a drift build. So, it's okay, I guess. Hood. Oh, we got something different there. Okay, it's all right. The customization's all right. Uh, I'm going to see if I can turn this into something that looks really nice. In three, two, one. Okay, um, I think that's pretty cool, honestly. I've spent God knows how long on that wrap. Um, it's not that good, I know, but who cares? Whatever, it's there. Saved. There you go. Um, I think I might change the rims a little bit. The secondary paint can... I think uh, we can make that the same color as this. I don't know what color it, uh, it was because it's not saved apparently, unfortunately. Uh, oh, we can do it iridescent as well. Dang, okay. Um, it was either that or that. It, it's that one. There we go. So... Apply to all rims. There you go. Tell me what, what you guys think of this. Uh, I think it looks rather nice, honestly. I might just not go with the spoiler at all. I might, I might just stick with that. How does that look? That looks rather. That looks pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, we won't go with the spoiler. It doesn't need it. It doesn't need the spoiler. That looks. Oh my god, that looks beautiful, man. All right, let's uh, add some effects then. Uh, Rainbow nitrous. I'm gonna go with that. I, I just, I always thought the Q60S just looks perfect. Pink. There's some cars that look really good, pink or purple. Like the uh, 180SX looks amazing in purple, uh, which is why everyone did theirs purple in 2015, if you guys remember. I could go with any of these uh, backfires, but uh, then I, I wish there were more backfires. I would have loved rainbow backfire. Imagine that, man. Uh, all right, we can go with candy pink smoke or pink smoke. We'll go with pink smoke, or maybe we'll just not go with either of them. Maybe we'll just leave it. Yeah, no, no, no smoke. Uh, have I got uh, any like pink and? Oh, that's perfect, because I've got like the pink and blue thing going on mostly. Um, I think we'll go with that one. Beautiful. All right, stance. Already worked on that. All right, now we need to do the performance. So it starts out at a 170, which isn't the best in the world. Um, so let's see what happens when we put it all with Ultimate Plus. I don't. This is not going to get anywhere near 400 plus, but who cares? You know, I love the engine sound. I'm not changing it. So, well, I might change it eventually, but I don't know. Probably not though, seeing as I'll probably not use, the, not be able to use this car again in payback. So. You know, because I'm not going to get the speed cross DLC for that, because why would I? Uh, dual turbocharger. You know, 327 isn't bad in the slightest, honestly. Um, there we go. We're falling under a million now, unfortunately. Uh, I should have all my track stuff. No, I don't. Okay, I've got to buy everything again. Whatever, though. This is pretty much one of the last times I'm doing this, so, you know. Wow. It's crazy, man. Already come to it. Well, I, I say already come to an end. I've managed to, you know, drag it on over into March. Late March. So that's not bad at all. But now uh, here comes the, the part where I have to, like, come up with content afterwards. You know, what am I going to do in this game afterwards, you know? Uh, and the next video, the next episode, we're going to be talking about that. So, let's see where this ends up. 343. That is really bad. <laughs> that is really bad. But, honestly, um, I mean, it all depends on the performance, doesn't it? So, uh, we, we can also put the downforce on. But, anyway, let's edit the exhaust sound. Let's see what we got. It's just subdued all the time. It doesn't get any louder, unfortunately. I think we'll do that. I think that is pretty fine. Alright, guys. 
let's get out into the day and let's do some races in the infinity q60 so here we are live tuning now uh we're gonna put the downforce all the way on the low it only comes up to a 232 unfortunately but does that improve it improves the performance rating by one we got it at 344 not too bad here we are oh this sounds nice you know what the car feels nice as well look how snappy that is i don't did i even touch the steering sensitivity no i didn't so seeing as this is the final build episode uh we're gonna do my favorite day race right now and then we're going to move on to my favorite nighttime race this car sounds so nice my god it's not the best sounding car in the game that would be the performante but this is like top three easy maybe even like the second best sounding car in the game i don't know that's not it look how good that rainbow night just looks and the backfire oh that's nice man oh god oh that was close jesus Look at those rims as well. This is beautiful. This is a really good looking car. And I'm proud of this wrap as well, honestly. This is nice. Really nice. So here we go. My favorite day race. Oh my god. I do this like... And it, it's literally called Oh My God. Um, and I say that all the time. So how fitting is that? Um, but yeah. This is just my favorite event. Because you can really like test the top speed. It's got a really nice straight. And then some... It's, it's got two really nice straights, actually. And it's on the bridge. So, it's on the bridge and it also goes under the bridge. So, I really like it. I, I don't know how else to explain that. It's just my favourite event. This is the one I do the most uh, when I go grinding for money. Look at this, man. I'm proud of this. Yeah, I'm really proud of this. All right, here we go. It handles so well. Uh, it probably should handle well because it was trained to be a, an off-road drifty car because uh, speed cross. You can see that's a bit um, struggling a little bit in building up the speed. But, you know, I, I ain't going to change it and it doesn't matter because we ain't got any PvP anyway. So, you know, I really hope they add speed lists though. Maybe with this whole coronavirus thing, they postpone Need for Speed 2021 to Need for Speed 2022. And um, we get speed lists for this game. Uh, yeah, Criterion? I I'd like that. I really like that because um, I spent a lot of money on this game, um, including the Black Market DLC, which I would have bought regardless, but, um, you know. Oh, this car looks great. Obviously, I could have done more, added more stickers on and stuff, but, you know. And I think I will in the future because I'll definitely use this. And yeah, this is just a car that doesn't need a spoiler. Like, there's some cars that are just so good looking, they just don't need the spoiler. Or they just look better without it. And honestly, I know we had the spoiler at first, but this just, it looks way better without it. And the smoked lights suit the car really well as well. Uh, and at the front, of course, it's just great. So I've gone with the pink iridescent paint as well, as you guys know. Same with the rims. Just look at this, man. I re I'm really proud of this. Wow, it's not even that good of a wrap. Because it, for me, I don't really spend time on wraps. The only uh, cars I've spent a lot of time on wraps on is the Fox Body I made in 2015, and this game as well. And um, my Purple Skyline, I made that wrap. I have to keep reminding myself of that, because that wrap's really good. And sometimes I think I downloaded it, but I didn't. I actually made it all the way back in the first few episodes, not long after we finished the story. I think it was the first, no, the off-road one was the first one we did. And then we did the drift one, and that's when I sh uh, showed the uh, purple skyline. But yeah, we're here finally with the Infinity. I've been saving this, saving this car for this day. Well, not this specific day, but for this, like, the time we got to this episode, you know? It's a really nice sounding car. Oh, I wish you could make it louder, but I'm, I'm happy with it. Look at that, man. Nice little corner. This could be good as a grip car, I think. It could be, I don't know. But it, it definitely just suits the drifting more. It looks great, man. It looks so great. There we go, let's knock it. All the way to the end, 500 yards remaining. And boom! Woo! Wow. 
Great car, man. I think with an engine swap, this could be even better. Well, no, every car's good. Uh, every car gets even better when you've got an engine swap in it. But you know what I mean, you know? Here we are. Nobody's even finished yet. But yeah, I always do that event because it pays a lot. I wish there was a 400 plus version of the event. I wish there were a 400 plus version of every event that doesn't have it, but whatever. So, uh, my, my favorite night event um, is one that you do in the high heat events, and that's Ocean Drive. It's a really good track, that one as well. Oh my god, I can't get over night, man. It's brilliant. It's like, it's literal night and day, the comparison, as in like what's better. Uh, that's not just a pun neither. Like, night is just so much better than day. Oh, it sounds so good, man. Wow. Let's just knock it down this tunnel. It looks so good. This this tunnel is really good. I'm glad I'm glad they had the idea for this. It would be cool if it changed colour though. That would be really cool. Or like if uh, half of the lights were pink, because you know the main colours for heat is pink and blue. It's just a really colourful game. It's it's great. It's amazing. Anyway, here we go into Ocean Drive. Nice. Little, wow. Wow, that was good. Whew. So uh, yeah, next episode, like I said, we're gonna uh, we're gonna talk about the state of the game. Everyone's starting to get into talking about the state of the game lately. Like, I don't know what it was. I was thinking about doing it, and, and regardless, I would have done it next week anyway. But everyone's starting to talk about it now. Hippo, Ripper. Black Panther's probably going to talk about it soon, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Is Need for Speed Heat dead? You know that. Uh, so, we'll talk about that. Because uh, I do have negative opinions towards this game. Mostly positive. But there are some big negatives that have been in the game since Payback and 2015. That just need to be addressed and sorted out. And some are just new to this game. And there's some nonsensical decisions as well uh, especially with the Cayman GT4 and the M4 GTS uh, with those customizations being stripped and um, yeah you had to complete you know get all the flamingos or complete all the drift challenges or whatever it was to get them and they just had no customization on it there was just no point in getting them uh, and, and unlocking them uh, other than that 100% platinum trophy for PlayStation but it is what it is, and uh, we'll talk about it next week. But this is about the Infinity, and we're doing okay so far. Obviously, this is not the hardest version of the event. That would be the High Heat, uh, with the McLaren P1 GTRs up front. But we're still trying to catch up to two cars. I thought this... W I, I didn't think this was going to be anywhere near good, but I didn't think it was going to be like this bad either. 343, or 344, whatever isn't that good at all but whatever the sound of the car makes up for it it's a great sounding car anyway we really need to start catching up and fast it's always this part of the event that's really difficult we've got the second place now now we just need to catch up to first two who seems to have made a little bit of a lead but oh my god i'm a god look at the drive look at the drifting man look at the driving noss it out there probably should have saved that nos tank for a corner this one. Oh, luckily we've got one. And Blake in his McLaren. I haven't bought that in this game yet. There might be an extra customization in it. Because um, it was in 2015. We used it in our first run-through of Eddie's Challenge. I think it was the first run-through or was it the second? I don't know. It was one of them though. Um, I think it was the second. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it weren't. I don't know. I don't remember. I know we used the McLaren though for Eddie's challenge. But there you go. Look at the speed, man. We got first place. Nice little drift there. Beautiful. It, it's such a well balanced car. It handles so well. I didn't even have to do anything to the steering sensitivity. It's just. It's just great. It's a great feeling car, man. And let's just knock it all the way towards the end here. 
Beautiful. Now we're just going to head back to the garage now. First place in my... In both my favorite day event and my favorite night event. That will yeah, probably change. Find that damn car. We're going to have more um, content, obviously. But, yeah, that's it for most of the uh, content the game can provide. Obviously, I'm going to still do, like, engine swap videos here and there. Uh, like the 4 GT, I'm doing that one soon. Uh, we've got a cup after this now. Let's uh, get into the raceway. Oh, my God. Jesus. Look at the rims. The rims really suit the car. It looks great. I can't wait till the next Black Market update because... I'm not going to have much content anymore. I, I can make content up until the summer, and then after that, it's it's over, pretty much. Uh, which is good, because, oh god, the cop's looking for us. Let's see if we can sneak past him, because he's looking for us on the raceway. I think he saw us uh, go in, uh, jump into the raceway, but it's whatever. He hasn't seen us. Get back to the troll. There we go. Oh, he's got, wait, the car's got a sunroof. I didn't notice that. Anyway, here we are, into the Rivera garage, 142,000 rep, not that bad. I think the how we're finding it harder to get to a million is because the events that we're doing, that we used to do, is they're, they're really low rep now. Because I saw a Need for Speed story today that, um, you know, somebody beat the world record again. Wow, like over 10 million now. I swear the record before was like 9 or 8 million or something like that. I don't know. I really want to have a crack at that world record, you know. Because I did say in 2015 that when Heat came around, I was going to try and get all the records. And um, <laughs> I guess we'll try and do that. But yeah, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Need for Speed Heat. This was the Infinity Q60S. One of my favorite cars that we have built. And I'm glad, really glad that we saved it for last. Of course, um, that's not the end of the whole customizations thing. That's just the end of my list. Um, I think we'll, we'll obviously do customizations in the live streams, obviously. And um, if there's any car that ends up OP in an engine swap, uh, then, you know, obviously I'll make a video on it like the 4 GT. Uh, so we'll do that soon. And whatever. This car just looks great. Honestly. Go customize it for yourself if you haven't already. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. Comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video where we talk about the state of Need for Speed Heat. Is it dead or is it still alive? It's probably dead, let's be honest. Whatever. Peace.